everybody. Welcome back to Name the USA South. Um, my name is Taylor Anderson, and I have a pleasure introducing you to Dr. Lorraine Orr from Greensboro College. She is the Executive VP and Chief Operation Officer for the Boys and Girls Club of America. She was a three-sport athlete at Greensboro, volleyball, basketball, and softball, and she is a Greensboro College Hall of Fame inductee. So we're gonna talk about her experience at Greensboro and how that has just helped her become a great a VP at the Boys and Girls Club. So welcome, doctor, welcome. Thank you so much, I'm glad to be here. Awesome, okay, so let's get started. You three sport athlete. You know, we see one sport, but three sports, volleyball, basketball, and softball. Tell me your experience about that. So, um, you know, I didn't think it was a big deal Right, uh, you know, uh, in playing three sports, I, I played, uh, you know, basketball and softball all through high school. Volleyball, I never started until I got to Greensboro College, and uh, uh, Gene Loico, uh, Coach Loico at that time, convinced me that it was the right move for me. So, uh, so I, I learned the sport of volleyball. But you know, being a, a, a three sport athlete, I think any athlete, right, it's just all all about priorities and, and, and making sure that you make time for, you know, obviously education, um, but, you know, just finding the, the, the right space and, and, and time for you to, to you know, practice, to, to, to follow up, to, you know, and, and obviously, again, have time to, to for your schoolwork. Yes, that now three sports, you were close with your coach, um, and you were a leader on it. How was that? You're a leader for three teams. That's like 30 girls <laughs> just all looking up to you. And it's like, hey, like you're a leader. What, how was that, um, that experience? You know, I think it, it, for me, it was a, a, a learning and, and growing experience, right? Because it, it, it taught me a lot of skills that I, I lean on today as a, as a leader, and that is just how to to lead and motivate people. Uh, and for me, you know, the 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 leadership is and and how I operate today. I will never ask anybody to do anything that I wouldn't do myself. Uh, and 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 a part of leadership is also being a strong role model. Um, and 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 you know, in in good times and in bad, right? Uh, you know, I I. I just like any athlete, you don't you don't like to lose, right? So, but but you have to learn how to do that gracefully, and, and because people are looking up to you, um, you know. And as as I, I've gotten older and and working in 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 my my field today, uh, as I said before, I lean on a lot of those experiences as a as a athlete through college, and I've played travel ball afterwards, softball after college. But, um, you know, it, it, it's, it, I would say it's a, um, a fundamental part of, of who I am uh, as, a, as, a, as a person and as a leader. So what is an experience that you can think of that really helped um, build that fundamental for you today? You know, I don't know if it's one experience. I think it was just a collection of experiences, right? And, and that is, um, you know, one learning a a a sport or a skill, and then how do you um, how do you maintain your you know the 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 amount of energy that you need to to bring to it? Not not just physical energy, but emotional energy and. And as a, you know, when I was younger, I never, never really even thought about it, right? It's just you laced up and you 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 got out there and you you, you got the job done. But it's a, a big part of how you prepare yourself. And I think that's why uh, coaches are, are so uh, important because they 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 help ground you. And, and it's all about the, the the motivation. I mean, you wouldn't be there on the team if you didn't have the skills, right, or the talent. Um, but it, it's really around how do you you keep yourself grounded and and you show up the way that 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 you need to show up for for your your team for the institution that you represent for me Greensboro College uh, and 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 for yourself right um, you know because sports can be um, I mean there are many moments when I, I probably wasn't my best self. Uh, <laughs> in terms of a bad call or whatever it may be but 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 I always knew 
uh, even as a, a young athlete, that you know that, that you're representing something, and, and and a part of it for me, I guess, was watching my father. He was a, he played in the Negro leagues, uh, and we would go travel all every weekend and watch him play as 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 young kids, and and there was just always a a certain way that you you carried yourself, and uh, and I think that was a, a pull through for me, um, and obviously when you, you're you know, uh, you know, in your late teens, early twenties, uh, you know, you can uh, you can make some mistakes. So you 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 need that that guidance a- around you. And and Gene Loico and um, Lisa Stockton and others that I played for at Greensboro College, they 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 all helped us to 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 find our, our ourselves inside of the sport. That is so awesome. That's a lot of people that you have had that you've looked up to I think that is so awesome and when you said about motivation you do get your motivation from your coach but now you as a leader executive VP that's a lot of people under you where do you get your motivation as a leader and as per se a coach yeah so uh, great question so so for for me I've been in boys and I've been working with boys and girls clubs for uh, 35 years now, uh, and I actually found this career because of Greensboro College, and, you know, I was a recreation and leisure services major, and one of my assignments that Dr. Willie Taylor gave me was to go introduce myself to every youth-serving agency in the city of Greensboro, and that's where I found Boys and Girls Clubs, and then I started working there as a, 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 a college student at, during the summer. Um, and then when I finished my last exam, I, I was there in the in the CEO's office saying, hey, I, I love my experience. And, and they hired me as a part time athletic director uh, for 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 the clubs and, I, you know, moved through the organization and where I am now. Uh, so as I think about motivation, it's all about mission. You know, we are an organization that are, 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 are we're, we're founded on some core principles, and that's just make sure that young people thrive. And, and, and that's, that's where I get my motivation from. And, you know, I tell my team all the time that there's not many people in America that get to wake up every day and say that they have an opportunity to change the trajectory of a nation. And the question is, is what are we going to do with that opportunity? And, and that's what motivates me every day uh, to to ensure that young people um, don't have to to uh, live the same experiences as 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 some of their family may have. Wow, that that's heavy. That's deep. That's strong. Every Gen Z of word that you can or synonym for that's deep. Um, that's that's every word that I just want to say. That is awesome. I think that um, just having that ability to help people, I think anything you do, and I think the more more that I grow and that I'm noticing um, and I'm meeting people, it's like I want I want to help people. I want to be an inspiration. I want to be a motivation for others. And the fact that you get to do that and you get to lead a team to do that. Um, that's just so that's completely awesome and especially for the younger generation so for you you're leading a younger generation you're wanting something better for them say a kid comes up to you and they ask you what can I do to be different at my age when because you have the resources to be at your age but them at 13 15 even 10 and they're like I want to help I want to be an inspiration. I want to be different as well. What can I do at my age? What would you tell them? Yeah. yeah so, you know, I, I think uh, being a leader, being a motivator can happen at any age, right? Uh, you know, I, I'm an older parent. I have five-year-old twins uh, and, and I have to, 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 to motivate them a, a, every day. So what I would say to any young, young person is, is just to be yourself. Um, and, and, you know, if you want to give back there or when, when you give back, because I think it, there's something valuable in terms of giving something back to, to your, to your community, to your family, to your, your school, to your sport, um, it's, it's just, uh, you know, what, what's the motivation, right? I mean, a, 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 as a young person, you're motivated by something. Every young person does something well. So what do they want to share? They can help tutor a, a friend that is maybe struggling in a topic that they 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 struggle in. 
They can just be an, an ear for a, a friend. They can take up for other children because you know bullying is is a real thing in 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 our in our school systems today and out of school programs as well. So standing up for somebody, uh, you know, so. It, it, it doesn't have to be that you go out and you volunteer hundreds of hours, right? It's, it's what you do and how you show up every single day is what what people will will will, will remember you for. And, and I think that's really important for young people to to understand, uh, for anybody to understand, right? Uh, you know, because I, I I to your 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 point, I I've been fortunate in in my career. I'm 35 years, as I said, in Boys and Girls Club work, and I, you know, and I, I, I've, um, and and you know, I, I, I'm able to to do things for for my family, uh, that you know I didn't have as a kid. Uh, but uh, but I also know that you know I, I'm here because I'm standing. I've stood on the shoulders of other people. That opened the doors of opportunity for 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 me as a as a woman, for me as a black woman, right? So so I I take those things really really seriously uh, because uh, you know frankly people died for it and uh, and 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 you know and I and I think my obligation is to 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 always show up and and do the very best that I can every single day and and that's how I approach life. Again, so good. <laughs> okay, I want to take last thing and I want to take it all the way back um, because I don't want to just kind of teeter over the fact that you were three sports, but also you were Hall of Fame. Um, you're in the Greensboro Hall of Fame. And I think that any school that has an athlete and inducts them into the Hall of Fame, that means so much more than what they did on the court, but who, what type of person they were and where they were going with their lives. So when you found out that you were going to be an inductee, what, what was the experience? How did you feel? You know, um, I, I was somewhat, you know, I was excited about it, but so embarrassed, right? You know, because I don't do well with uh, with recognition. I never really have. No, I, I love to, to 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 win. Don't get me wrong, but um, you know, I was kind of embarrassed about it. But then I, you know, as I, I thought about it, I I, I was honored. Um, you know, because the, you know, Greensboro College, you know, done, they, they've done so much for me in terms of, you know, the education that I, that I, I got there, the exposure that I, I got there, and frankly, the, the lifelong friends that I, I, I built there, including some of the, the faculty that, that, are, that are still there. Um, so it, it, it was an honor, um, and I felt proud, uh, of, uh, being able to to represent Greensboro College in that way, and you know, just recently, a couple of years ago, I got to. Uh, they asked me to be the commencement speaker, which is also just really, really, uh, it's, it's a little scary, but but it, it was a, an amazing experience because I've I've spent my life, you know, um, in the work that I do, trying to to shape and and mold young people and and. And and be a part of dismantling some of the the, the systems that are uh, that hold young people back. Um, so 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 being able to stand there on the the the, the that was the proudest day of, of my life at the time was standing there. Uh, you know when I was walking across that stage, but being there uh, and and being able to address those those young people that were being tossed out into the world. I mean it it, it was a powerful powerful moment. And um, you know, and I was I was honored to do that. I was honored to be a, uh, inducted into the the alumni hall of fame. You know, my uh, parents were there. Uh, you know, both of them are gone now, but it was a just a a, a memory that um, that that will will last a lifetime for me. Well, that is so awesome. I think that everything that you have done um, at Greensboro and just at the Boys and Girls Club. Um, I've had some a couple of times be able to volunteer there and just kind of work with when I was back in college. Um, and it's just so crazy. I think helping kids is just the best thing ever. And the fact that you have a life devoted to it um, and a calling to do it is so, so, so great because not everybody has that gift. And it's not wrong. You don't have the gift. But for someone to have the gift, to see that they have the gift and to do something about it 
and to work towards every day is so amazing. But Dr. Lorraine Orr, it's been such a pleasure talking to you today. Um, guys, thank y'all so much for listening in. Um, check back for another Made in USA Cell feature. Um, thank you so much, Dr. Lorraine, for coming and talking with me and just being an inspiration to not just me, but to every other athlete that is listening that is in the USA Cell. Well, listen, thank you so much for the opportunity. And if you ever want to re-up that volunteering at a Boys and Girls Club, you let me know and we'll, we'll make that happen for you. <laughs> okay, awesome. Thank you. Right. Right. Okay. Thank you very much.